Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Torn Talk. <laughs> haul. We're doing a haul today. Uh, it's a very small haul. <laughs> small but expensive. Uh, expensive for me because we know I am cheap. Uh, first things first though, I got to do uh, homecoming hair and makeup this weekend, uh, which was great. I got to see Megan again and her friend. And um, so I did two sets of hair and one full makeup and then just dramatic eyes uh, on Megan because last year we went supernatural, not supernatural, <laughs> very natural um which her friend opted for because she doesn't usually wear makeup and I'm actually really good at doing makeup on a girl who doesn't usually wear makeup but wants to look you know a little more polished for a dance but not like I can't see me and I don't recognize myself what is all this slap on my face so I'm good at natural makeup on on young ladies uh and I was Super stoked because I did that with Megan last year and then this year she goes, I bought false eyelashes. Can we do false eyelashes? Can you do a wings liner? I'm like, we're going to find out. <laughs> which, no Amos, which I totally did. I took my tape, my handy dandy tape, which was very helpful. Um, but we did like a really warm uh, pink and I did a smoky eye, but I did it in like pink and a really warm brown. She was wearing a like barely blush uh, cocktail dress. So, you know, we went for pink. Um, and she has a big doe eye, so it's always easy. Also, uh, FYI, it is really, really easy to blend eyeshadow on eyelids that aren't wrinkled, which I found out today. Now, you may be asking Torn, you didn't always have wrinkles. I mean, didn't you blend when you were in your teens and 20s? ladies back then nobody blended. We didn't know what blending was. You just did your whole eye in one color or if you were feeling frisky, you did your whole eye in one color and then you did the lid in one shade darker and slap eyeliner all around it. That was the extent of eye makeup in the 90s. <laughs> there was nothing else. Some people didn't even put eyeshadow up on the top of their lid. It was literally just their eyelid. You just smeared some color there and that was it. I'm not lying, that is the way it was. <laughs> so all of this blending and none of that happened. Uh, YouTube made that happen. So anyways, her eyes turned out beautiful and I did manage to get those lashes on and she looked great and I was very happy and everybody's hair was pretty. And I love these girls because they never ask for anything impossible. They're like, can I have some cool braids and then just curls? Yes. Yes, you can. So we did one was a Dutch braid. We took this Dutch braided back. I did a cute little poof, um, you know, like a waterfall of curls. And then I did big loose waves. And then Megan's, we did Dutch braids like this. And then since she's awesome, she let me do a very sculptural thing where I used the small ones of curls on this. And then I kind of sculptured over and just sprayed the crap out of it. And then, you know, curls but it looks really pretty um so I got to do hair and when I do this when I come to your house and do your hair and makeup I get paid which was nice because since Joe has this on such a strict budget somebody was in dire need of some cash for small things that I always feel bad spending household money on which is today's haul um so I spent half my money today uh, I made $100 this weekend, which is more than I make on YouTube in two months. Uh, not counting Patreon. With Patreon, it's about what I make on YouTube for a month. <laughs> I made it in one day, so I doubled my money this month. Um, yeah, so, so, um... Yeah, so I needed some things. So I spent half my money. I spent $50 today. And I have another 50 to spend. And I already kind of have it earmarked because I need a mascara, which is going to be at least $20. And I need a new foundation. And the one I'm looking at, I'm going to 
Sephora and see if they'll give me a sample because I want to see if it works. Because um, I've just been having a problem. My foundation just will not sink into my skin. And it just, like, it's fine for, like, the first hour, maybe hour or maybe two hours. And then it just, like, rises to the surface, goes really ashy, and just starts to break apart. Which is not usual for me, especially because... I mean, my skin's really dry now. Usually it's oily skin that'll cause your makeup to break apart really bad. Mine's just breaking apart crazy and it's just like sitting atop my skin and I look ghastly and I cannot, I cannot. So uh, I need to try a new foundation. I need a really hydrating foundation. So I have one I wanna try, but I wanna try it first and see if it works before putting out $34 for a bottle of it. And apparently Sephora is supposed to let you have a sample so you can try it before you buy. I already know I want some uh, MAC mascara because I got a little sample of it in my Ipsy bag and it is amazing and I love it. I use it and my perversion one on top of the other to give me really great lashes. That's not what's happening today. These are fake lashes. So don't go, wow, they really, this is false advertising. These are fake lashes. But when I don't wanna wear fake lashes, I do the one-two punch. Any hoodles, um, I'm out of my sample and I really want to get some more of that. But yeah, I looked at the Sephora website because I was like, maybe they would send me samples. Um, but you can actually go in the store and they're supposed to. Now this is what I don't get, okay? So I have been to Sephora before. I bought a, a MAC paint pot for a primer for my eyes, right? And um, number one, the customer service was abysmal. Uh, I love Ulta. Like, I walk in, there's usually somebody there that's like, hi, can I help you find anything? And if I go, no, I'm just looking, they leave me alone. But if I'm like, actually, yes, I am looking for, and they will, will try all sorts of things. Like, when I was like, I need a concealer, but you see how pale I am? And everything was too dark, which is why I had to go with Jeffrey. But they were very helpful anyway. You know, we tried all sorts of things, uh, trying to find what would work for me. Really helpful, really nice. I like Ulta. I expected Sephora to be the same way, but our Sephora was not the same way. And I went in knowing what I wanted. At Sephora, nothing, there are testers out, but like you can't pick up an item and go check out. You have to wait for one of them to come and help you and then unlock it from a drawer and then they take it to the register and then check you out, which I don't like, I don't like not getting my hands on it just to like double check, I guess. I don't know, I mean, I'm sure it's because they're trying to prevent theft because so many of the things are really small and easily you can put it in a pocket or whatever. So, I mean, I get that. But when there are six women standing in a very small Sephora and I walk in and I'm looking at the paint pots and I'm looking at them and smiling like, I could really use some help and they just, turn around and talk to each other. I don't appreciate it much. Um, and it's the only place that sells Mac. So I have to go there. Mm. I'm willing to chalk it up to just that those particular girls suck. <laughs> and not every Sephora employee is like that. We'll try again, um, which I will probably try again later this week because you know this money's burning a hole in my, in my pocket. Any hoodles, let's see what I got. So I did actually get some makeup today. Um, I needed eyeliner. So I went to Target first. Target. Um, and I got some Pixie by Petra and Bliss Silky eye pens. They're sharpenable pencils. I got black and brown. Well, pardon me. I got um, black noir, which noir is black, right? So it's black, black, I guess and bronze beam. Uh, I really, really like these. Again, this is something I got in my Ipsy bag. I got the 24 karat golds, which I love. It's down here in my waterline. Um, these pencils are so soft. Like, they don't skip. And you guys, I wrinkle eyes. Um, everything skips. <laughs> it's, you gotta pull stuff tight so stuff doesn't skip. The stuff doesn't skip, it's so soft. Um, and it's good color payoff, and I can put this in my waterline and it doesn't like cry away, it doesn't wear off. 
against my contacts or anything like it stays put. I really love this stuff. It's $12 per, so right here in my hand, it's $24. <laughs> so sad. And I was out of my setting spray. Um, I've been using Flower, uh, Flower Beauty Seal the Deal uh, Hydrating Setting Spray. Yeah, I've got like two squirts of that left. So I needed a setting spray and now you can get them everywhere. So I got Pixie Skin Treats Makeup Fixing Mic Mist, Rose Water and Green Tea. Um, I got this stuff. I don't know. There was three there. One was mattifying, which I don't want because anything that's mattifying just brings your wrinkles out when you're my age. Um, and the other one seemed more like uh, it was hydrating and it had a hyaluronic acid and stuff in it. But it seemed more like a you spray it on at night or on your bare skin. And I need this stuff to go over makeup and not on my bare skin. So I'm just curious to see how it feels and what it smells like. So we're going to try it out. Because I said so. Oh, the mist is not very fine though. It smells like roses. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. But yeah, roses. So, uh, yay, which is fine. We'll see how, I'll give it a, I'll give it a go and, and see how it goes and see if it's a good fix. I may have to, you know, go for Fix Plus or something. I don't know. But since I can't do a setting powder anymore because of said wrinkles, um, I really need this spray. <laughs> All right, so that was, you know, 40 bucks right there. Um, and then I went to Joanne Fabrics. Um, I went to check for spiders, um, because I had not gotten out to get my spider yet this year. Needless to say, I didn't get a spider this year, which makes me sad. But, okay, why? Why didn't you get a spider? Because all of the Christmas stuff is out. Um, now I realize it is, you know, mid to late October. I've, I've got that. But I wasn't just going for a spider. I was like, I'll see if there's anything Halloween-y that we can turn into a hair toy and shove in my hair because that's always fun. Uh, but mostly I was thinking of next month, November, because November I think of like corn and pumpkins and leaves and scarecrows and autumnal colors like orange and yellow and red and, you know, I was like, well, I'll find some of that stuff and then we can make little hair. Like I'll get a sprig of leaves or something and we'll put them on some pins and we'll do something pretty for next month, right? So we'll have something for Thanksgiving because, you know, no, there's none of that. It's all Christmas. There's a tiny section of Halloween stuff. Now, was it a great deal? It was buy one, get three free, which is great, which means they're just trying to clear out the stock. But of course, somebody had already been there and cleared out most of the stock so all that's left are like the $50 items like wreaths and decorations and whatnot now if you're looking for some of that stuff great time to go to Joann's buy one get three free hey you get four things for 40 bucks go for it um but I didn't none of that stuff I'm gonna put in my hair so nothing Halloweeny but I still managed to spend money because I'm good at that I was going for one other thing uh, I did get these giant googly eyes because this is for next week's sock button. <gasps> We're doing something fun next week. Um, but while I was there, I always check the jewelry bins, especially when things are on sale. So I got some uh, findings. Do, 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 three different sizes of hoop thingies for earrings. Ooh. Small, medium, and large. Findings are great. Those were $2.99. And they had all of the uh, Hildy and Joe beads, 70% off. And I walked past these and I had to have them because I was like, ooh, I can make some really cool earrings. So I got those. And like I said, 70% off. So I got a couple of these too. Well, one strand, but you know. I'll make some new earrings. You'll probably see them coming up shortly, but I thought it would be pretty with the silver and clear icy for winter. Um, or just any time, but you know, what have you. So that's what I bought. All of this. 
all of this stuff fits in a tiny bag. And here is $50 worth of stuff. <laughs> Makeup's expensive, y'all. Yeah, I only spent like $9 and change at Joann's. Um, I spent $41 at Target on two eyeliners and a mist. Target. It's not even the high-end stuff. Yeah. I have BT dubs. I still use my brewmate. I use my brewmate every day. Uh, I think I reviewed this at some point. Uh, I have also sold other people on it. My friend Mel that I play video games with. She uh, works in a winery. Like she runs the the taste testing room and whenever they do events and whatever, like she runs that whole section. Um, but I was like, girl, have you gotten a brewmate? Because we were talking about different temperatures of wine, and she likes her wine very cold. Um, I was like, yeah, you get one of these, it'll stay cold. Like, if you drink half of it and then run off and have to do something else and come back, it'll still be the same temperature. She's like, no. Yes. So she is also bougie with her brewmate. I think she also got the carafe and something else. It's great. Anyway, <laughs> she went sparkly, too. I think she went with, like, the pink or rose sparkle. So, um, yes, every night when we play games together, she's always like, so I have whatever she's drinking in her brewmate, and I also do as well. Today it is winter spiced cranberry Sprite. <laughs> yeah, it's got sugar, I don't care. It's winter spice. I love limited edition sodas. This is where I get my pleasure. I don't drink alcohol anymore because the hot flashes are too egregious and I just can't deal. So instead, I indulge in sugar. There's still sugar in alcohol. That's what makes it alcoholic. Is it any more calories than having a beer? No, I don't think so. It's probably equal amounts. So I just have my soda. That's my treat. It's just the way it is. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for me today. Um, that's gonna be our haul, because I have, still have to film Thursday's video. Um, I did get to break out my dresses. Uh, because the material they're made out of is just a little too heavy for summer. Uh, but I do wear these through uh, fall and winter. So since I was I got to break it out for the first time, I decided to go for the whole matchy-matchy thing, because I can. So Joe actually likes this, weirdly. Joe's much bigger on, you know, peachy pink and not a lot of makeup, because, you know. He likes my natural beauty. <laughs> but I've been having so much fun playing with colors lately, but he liked this. I was like, what do you think of this red? Um, he was like, it actually ain't bad. I kind of dig it. So, I don't know. Um, fun colors. Besides, uh, I think he recognizes that doing silly stuff like this gives me a little bit of happiness. Just... I don't know, anytime I see myself in the mirror, I'm like, oh yeah, I did red today. <laughs> I don't know. All right, that's enough for me. Um, please to enjoy pictures of y'all after, during the closing credits. Are they credits? They're kind of like credits, because I put y'all's names up. I don't know. The slideshow, the credit section, the spoopy music section. Please to enjoy pictures of yourselves. Oh, I also do my nails. Oh, these are cool. Let me do this. Um, so I finally, you guys probably noticed my nails haven't been done for a couple weeks. I was giving my nails a break. Um, now right now they're gray. Can you see my spider web? Move my face out of the way. Yeah, right? So they're gray, right? Gonna hear running, running water, cause I'm hot right now. So this is heat stuff, and there they are. They're black, already going to gray, but you can see them all gray at the tips. That's how hot I am. <laughs> uh, when it's cold, my nail polish is black. When I'm hot, my nail polish goes back to gray. Um, Joe weirdly likes the color change polish because uh, the way my hot flashes work is I don't usually sweat. I just get really, really hot. Um, so he can look at my nails and know if I'm hot flashing or not. Like I'm hot right now, you can tell. I'm 
super hot. Um, any hoodles. Okay, that's it for me. Uh, I'm going to go enjoy pictures of yourselves. And I will see you tomorrow uh, where we will talk about The Witch. 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. London, 6 a.m. Sydney. It was a really good discussion last week on the train to Busan, so I'm hoping we will have an equally awesome discussion this week, although I do expect this film to be a lot more polarizing. Like I said, people either love this movie or hate it. There isn't a whole lot of in-between, so we'll see. It's probably also going to be a bit of a feminist discussion. Not in a bad way, though, I don't think. I'm feminine. I'm a woman. Most of you are women. Not all, but most. So, we'll talk about chick stuff, man. Chicks, man. Alrighty. Uh, until then, have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.